What are you guys doing? It's a magic trick we just saw on TV. It's called the two-layer pineapple surprise cake in a sun hat trick. <laughs> With mom's sun hat? We couldn't find Willie's. <laughs> and now, without further ado, a pinch of yeast and two eggs. One, two. Does mom know you're using her sun hat? Silence, please. Would the young man with the freckles and the overbite please mix the ingredients? She doesn't know, does she? I'm running this trick on a need-to-know basis. Is it done? Perfect. Now cover the hat with the plate as I say the magic words. Hocus, Pocus, Betty Crocus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elf's magical two-layer pineapple surprise. <laughs> Soup. idea. I have to write this a hundred times. On the refrigerator? She didn't say. Allow me to present an alternative to writing on the major appliances. What's that? It's a magic kit. I thought I'd introduce you to some less messy tricks. What do you know about magic? I dabbled a little when I was your age. Uh, your height. Really? Oh, oh, show me, show me. Oh. Yeah. Here, pick a card, any card. Pick a card. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what that card is. I know what the card is the nine of clubs. Pick another card. Any card. This time, don't tell me what it is. Boy. Any card. There. Happy? OK. Now, you take a good look at that card and then put it back in the pack. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to concentrate on your thoughts. I our thought waves are connecting. <laughs> I feel the vibrations. Ha! Aha! Is that your card? Beats me. 
Don't you remember? You said take a look, not commit to memory. <laughs> Alf, this is your card. These cards are marked. Well, you cheated. I didn't cheat. You cheated, you lied, you said that you loved me. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's part of the trick. Watch. Wow! How did you do that? It's all here. It's right in here. Well, can I see? First, I want you to make the writing on the refrigerator disappear. No problem. Alakazoo! Alakazam! I think this would work better. Alakazoo! Alakazam! <laughs> It's showtime! Actually, Alf, it's HBO. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present... Alf the Stupefying! <laughs> Grazie. What magic have we to look forward to tonight, Stoop? <laughs> Picture, if you will, an ordinary flower pot, empty to the human eye. But one tap with my magic wand, and the flower pot becomes. <laughs> big, jaggedy pieces of clay. Ta da! I'll get the dustpan. Uh, uh, no need. My lovely assistant will take care of it later. I guess I'm the lovely assistant. <laughs> For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. Ah, uh, yes, the lady with the questionable fashion sense. <laughs> What's going on? Elf is being stupefying. Oh, well, I would love to watch, but I'm going to the Octoplex. Dad, can I borrow $10? Well, I guess so, sure. Thanks. Hey, this is even better. I'll do the disappearing $10 bill trick. I think we just saw that. <laughs> Young lady, please put your $10 bill into this envelope and seal it. <laughs> All done. Good. I will now put the envelope containing your $10 bill into my magic pan. Voila. A few magic shakes, and the money will disappear. It's still there. Well, so it is. We'll have to make it disappear the hard way. Willie, he's got a blowtorch. <laughs> I think these matches will do just fine. Sure, if you don't care about showmanship. <laughs> All right, light the envelope on fire. Hmm. Now here, peel this, and tell everyone what you have found embedded inside. I have found a banana. <laughs> no $10 bill? Um, um, Willie, please check your wallet and tell us what you find inside. Just my 20. Ta-da! Not only did I resurrect that $10 bill, I doubled it. Thanks, Dad. I can't spend that. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I thought you gave up on magic. Something about being no good at it. Being no good at something is no reason to quit. Ask anyone at the Fox Network. I admire your perseverance, as long as you're not burning money. Thanks. Hey, Willie, you want to see a trick? Well, sure. OK, uh, first I need to borrow a handkerchief. Well, here we go. Thanks. 
need your watch. Well, you, you will be careful with it, won't you? Of course. Well, all right. Thank you. Now, you will notice that in one hand, I hold a man's wristwatch. In the other, a velvet pouch. Would you say that the watch is intact, sir? So far, yes. <laughs> watch this. I wave my hand over the bag. Say the magic words, hocus. Pocus, go for Brocus. <laughs> and your watch is as good as new. Well, I, I, I don't believe it. Was that a new watch? <laughs> Just. Elf. The, the stupefying. Elf. Elf. Kate, Willie, you're just in time to see my newest trick. Where did these rabbits come from? Well, first Father Rabbit picked up Mother Rabbit in a singles bar, <laughs> then he... You know what I mean. Where did you get all this stuff? Buckley's House of Magic. You bought all this? Rented it, actually. They gave me the professional discount. You still want to encourage him? Oh, come on, Kate. It could be worse. Ta -da! Alf's gonna saw me in half. Much worse. <laughs>
Yes! Yes! I came, I saw, I demolecularized. I can do magic. Uh, oh, now I'll make you reappear, B. Um, uh, abracadabra, alakazam. I'm a better magician than I thought I am. Uh oh, a glitch in the finale. Uh, alakazam. Oh, no. Oh, I vaporized the boy. Kate and Willie will not be pleased. <laughs> Especially since Willie told me not to do any more tricks. Oh, wait a minute. I smell a conspiracy here. I also smell eight rabbits cooped up in a garage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where is he? Where's who? Your little stooge. Is he hiding under the sink? Okay, Brian, come on out. Simon says. You know what he's talking about? Hardly ever. You really don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No. Uh, Simon says, everyone take one giant step out to the garage. <laughs> Then I said some more magic words, but when I opened the box, Brian was gone. Well, not gone exactly, just smaller and fond of salad. <laughs> Boy, here, here we go. I knew there had to be a secret compartment somewhere. Brian's not here. Don't deny your son's existence just because he's a little different from the rest of us. <laughs> Al, don't be ridiculous. He is being ridiculous, isn't he, Willie? Well, of course he's yeah. being ridiculous. It's not possible to turn people into rabbits. Even with magic? It isn't magic, Alf. It's a trick. That's your theory. <laughs> Honey, he must be in the house somewhere. Come on, let's go look for him. Don't worry, Brian. You'll get used to the big ear jokes. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mrs. Beckham. If Brian does show up, will you send him home, please? Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Not there either. Uh-uh. Honey, I, I don't know who else to call. I'm sure Brian's fine. He, he wouldn't just run off without letting us know. Hey, Kate, you got any carrots left? Your son looks hungry. <laughs> Alf, did you get that cage from Brian's room? That's right. What did you do with the snake? What are you so worried about the snake for? We're talking about your own fur and blood here. <laughs> Kate, when you checked in Brian's room, did you look under the bed? No. Well, I'm sure he's under there playing cave dwellers again. <laughs> Watch out for the snake. He was pretty mad when I dumped him out. <laughs> Brian? Brian? Do you understand me? Um, hop once for yes, twice for no. Hi, Elf. How did you do that? You didn't even move your little rabbit lips. <laughs> rabbit lips? Brian, you're not a rabbit. Well, Brian. Hi, Dad. Where have you been? I was hiding in the car. But I got hungry. Why were you hiding in the car? I wanted Alf to think he made me disappear. So he wouldn't think he's a bad magician. Oh, oh, honey. It was nice of you not to want Alf to feel bad, but we were very, very worried about you. Yeah. I thought I turned you into a rabbit. Sorry, Mom. Dad. Sorry, Alf. I guess I messed up the trick. That's OK, Bri. Now you can clean up your own pellets. <laughs> a very large snake just slithered into my gym bag. Somebody please do something. You better not have scared Captain Eel. Go. <laughs> a 
as soon as we're finished here, we're going to pack up all the rabbits and all the magic boxes, and we're going to send them back whence they came, right? Right. <laughs> Wow. You didn't have to bring us breakfast in bed. It was the least I could do. After I almost misplaced your son and everything. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry the magic thing didn't work out. That's okay. I thought about it. And I believe my true calling in life is to build powerful fireworks displays. <laughs> If you need me, I'll be on the phone with Buckley's House of Gunpowder. 